I am walking through the woods, headed to a public beach. I took my sewing machine in to get it repaired, and I need to hang around close to town until it's finished. <laughs> Hopefully it gets repaired. Um, so yeah, I'm going to the beach. So I had a dress kind of like in between beach and going to take your sewing machine to a nice shop. <laughs> God, I still feel like I have pearls on. <laughs> I meant to take those off. Oh well. So I made it back. I had a lovely time at the beach. The wind was crazy, but I had a really nice time. Uh, the guy was able to fix my sewing machine, which is fantastic because I'll have decorative stitches now. It was something that he had to take something completely apart and put it back together, which is what I figured. And I was like, you know, I just don't want to do that. I don't want to completely wreck it. It was just a system I wasn't super familiar with. I usually fix um, and service my old Singer sewing machines, which while I was waiting for that sewing machine to be serviced, I went to a thrift shop and bought another sewing machine. It's an old Singer, an old 301, and it's shiny black. And I love it. So this is the case for the sewing machine that I bought. I have one other machine that has a case similar to this, but it's not as large because it is a smaller machine. Alrighty, let's see if I can get in here without tearing something up. Alrighty, and it was... There we go, $50. And a random clothespin. This comes down so it has a full bed, the one that I have, which is a tan machine, it's not black. I love the black. Is only half the size of that. So if you're familiar with featherweights, uh, featherweight sewing machines, they're very small, but they use this side bobbin mechanism as opposed to a drop-in. They hadn't, Sinker hadn't done that yet to my knowledge. And uh, so this uses the same as the other sewing machine that I have, but I also have one with a drop-in bobbin as well. The paint overall is pretty good. Some of the decals are worn off for sure, but it is quite pretty. I'm loving, I love that black knob. That is so pretty. It has a light bulb. You switch this to switch the light bulb on and off. The plate looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this. So it's gonna be a similar experience to what I've had before just in a larger size machine, adding it to the collection. So I was able to get some writing done today, which was great. Uh, I didn't do, I didn't really write anything at the beach. I just, I freak out about sand and fountain pens. And so I tend to bring one 
and not use it for very long because I'm just afraid sand's going to get in it and just totally ruin my pen. Uh, but I did go to the library later to kill some more time waiting for my sewing machine and got some writing done. So that was good. And uh, so it was a very productive day, both mentally, physically, and writer, writer, writingly. <laughs> I carried a baby watermelon the entire time. Like, I don't even know how far I walked on the beach. It, it was at least a mile. It was so far, a mile there and back, I would say. Uh, and I had a baby watermelon with me the whole time. So I had some resistance training today between the sand and the baby watermelon. Good day. <laughs>